So I got them all back here. Hello, babies. All right, so let's show you, show you some other options. First, I'll show you how to feed them. And, or I may before that, I'll, I'll take you inside and I'll show you some of their options. You're able to create your own sleeping areas, poo areas, and bathing areas. I don't really use the bathing one too much because they come with a bath. But the concept is simple enough. It's a, it took a little bit for me to figure it out myself, but it's it's actually a fairly simple concept. So this is my bedroom. And here's a little area. Over here I have a litter box I made. And if you res over it, you'll see this little box right here. This is what allows them to use it, and it cannot be linked to the actual item. I know it sucks. You just have to keep track of where you put them. And see, it's named Stool. And I'll show you how to make them. It's very simple. And basically, whenever they have to poo, they'll go to those. I have two. I have a litter box, and I have a puppy pad. They There's no way to guarantee the cats will only use this one. The puppies will only use that one. They both pretty much use whatever. So the dogs... Oddly enough, really seem to like the litter box, and the cats really seem to like the puppy pad. I have no idea why they're strange. This is their food bowl. You come with one, and if you click on it, there's some color and texture options. I, I never really play with it too much, but it's not a bad idea to do that. See, here you can do some different colors for the inside, so you can have some fun with that. You can make it blue. That's a really bright blue. So you, know, you could you can just play with it, you know. Ivory is the basic one. And here, uh, texture of the keys at home. I guess maybe you do this. I I don't really know how to do that yet. Maybe there haven't been uh, textures added. Over here is. A bed I made for them a very basic one and again just like with the stool it's got a little box that says comfort and again I'll show you how to make that over here's a little cat scratcher I've made a starter set which is available in my store with the, the textures would load that would be nice what happened to the textures here sometimes it's a little wonky Where are my textures? I'll mess with that more later. Either way, um, oh wait, is this one? I'm looking for the rope. Ah, here it is, rope. Well, I guess it's just having trouble loading right now. It's just being a pain. Either way, you know, it's, there it goes, it's loading. But yeah, this is a little cat scratcher I made. I've got a few comfort sleep spots on it. See, here's one here, there's one here. Did I put one here? No, I didn't. But yeah, so that's my little... And if you buy the starter kit, you'll get this. You'll also get a bed. It looks like this, only it's blue. And you'll get a litter box, over, like over here, only it's blue. But you can change the colors if you want. And you also get this set of puppy pad here, which has little newspapers. You can try and read them if you want. Or you can just let your dog crap on them. Anyway, so here's the dog food bowl and I'll show you how to feed your pet. And after you feed them, your pet will go to the bathroom. If you don't have a st stool option down, then they will go on the floor near the bowl. So first things first is when you want to feed them, put them on free mode. You can feed them on mode, but it's best to leave them all on free mode unless you're carrying them around or showing them off because they will grow best if they're on free mode. So first thing you want to do is you want to go and your set will come with a food box or you can buy food boxes with different types of food but you don't worry because the boxes don't run out so you can just forever use them. I have a couple ones just because I like the fancy looking treats um, but don't worry about it if you don't have them or anyways they're cheap they're only 20 L so you want to right click feed and you'll go over there you'll lean down and you'll fill up the dog's food bowl sometimes mine doesn't like to res the food very well it's just the way it is sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't 
but it should fill up the bowl, which it doesn't want to show me it right now. Maybe it'll res in a moment. And in a little bit, you'll probably see my sister's pets unless she has them with her. My sister has two pets of her own, and my daughter has a corgi. Which, oddly enough, they're not coming right now. Huh, they usually do. Maybe they're busy. See, after they eat, they'll yawn because they're happy. And now they're going to go run and poo. Yep, see, there they're all going to poo. See, over here you can see Steel. He's about to drop a steamer. Oh, he already did, and you're sitting on it. Move your butt so I can show them your poo. There we go. So if we resin, where'd it go? I think it might have resed under. Sometimes, yep, there it is. It resed under. I guess he's a little too big for this. Keep in mind that when you have little boxes, you might have to adjust them based on your pet's personal size. I kind of keep them at whatever because the cats and dogs, they all require different sizes. So I don't care too much unless I'm taking pictures. Anyways, and they also have milk. If you feed them milk, it'll do the same thing. Um, and then afterwards, I like to give them a bath. So here, I'll show you how to use the bath. So you res out the bath, and you can either use a button, or you can do what I like to do, which is give them a command. So I'm going to say, May Wash, and that'll have her go to the bath. So, Hiyoko Wash, Miruku Wash, Steel Wash. And then once they're all in the tub, then you're going to click on it to stand there. As you can take off their clothes, I don't feel like dealing with redressing them right now. But my sister likes to make them nude beforehand. See, they're all sitting there enjoying their bath. Yeah, they kind of overlap a little bit, but aren't they cute? And the bath only lasts for a few seconds, and you're done. I ha Like I said, I haven't tested it with the, um, with the uh, res bath box, um... I assume it works the same, but I like using this bath, so I never bothered making one. And then once you're done, you take and you can actually resize the bath, the bath if you click on it. It's easy enough. There's also a leash. Uh, if you have them on follow mode, you can wear the leash and it'll res out. But I never use it because I think they're cuter without it. And then the radar. Um, if you wear it, it'll come up small. You click on it, and it'll get big. It basically shows you more or less where your pets are, so you can walk towards them. I don't use it all that often, but a lot of people do, so, you know, power to them. Alright, now I'm going to teach you how to make the comfort in stool boxes. What are you guys doing? Keep in mind, they will always use the stool boxes. They will not always sleep where they're supposed to. I have very, so many sleep spots for them. You know, I put them on the bed, on the couch, on the carpet. They like to sleep wherever. Sometimes I'll sleep right next to one without being on it. You know, you got to keep in mind these pets have a very neat and realistic AO. So, they'll often act like a real pet and sort of just do whatever they want. So, you know, which is kind of cool. I like the realism with them. You know, their movements are great. You know, the fact they grow is great. They're not out to steal all your money. They're actually surprisingly cheap considering what you get. And you get free updates for life. Um, I pick genders myself. They do not have genders associated with them. They're kind of just sexually ambiguous because they don't breed. But I like to consider them at a certain gender. Here's Miru hanging out on the cat scratcher. What a cute little fox you are. Don't twist your head around. <laughs> but, um, you know, I consider my May and Hioka girls and Steel and Miru goo boys. But for the most part, you can just pick them whatever you want them to be. But it's easier to be able to say he or she. Anyways. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to build, and you want to res a box. Now, this box I'm going to name Comfort. Easy enough. Now, 